Hello, fellow Gwent players. Wow. This guy makes some really good Gwent content. If only I could support him through another platform other than YouTube. Well, now you can! Because Mr. Hobble One has a Patreon at patreon.com slash Mr. Hobble One, where you will be able to see all of his intros before they are released on YouTube. Wow. Are there any other benefits? Well, of course. More benefits will be added with suggestions from users just like you. Oh, wow. So I could make Hobble play my deck? Or I could make him send me his nudes? Okay, let's not go that far. Huh. But I still think you will be happy to support your favorite content creator and with him, Main Cat. Alright, so before this video starts, please leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet. And as I said in the intro, if you want to support me and the channel growth and help me make more Gwent content or more different content in the future, check out my Patreon. The links will be in the description as well as my Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Even though Twitch, I won't be as active as I used to be. I will only be streaming Thursdays every week, hopefully. And yeah, <laughs> let's just move on with the video. Avalak the Sage. Deploy range. Play an artifact from your deck. Now, this card is just a bad Oneromancy. Like, so many other cards are just bad Oneromancies. The problem with this one is obviously its limitation to artifacts. There's only one, like, busted artifact in the game realistically now. I mean, the scenarios, obviously, in some of the locations are pretty good targets nowadays for him. But other than that, there's not really much... Yeah, that you can really do with Avalak the Sage these days. So I wanted to try a little bit of a jank and use the fact that he's a one-point body with 11 provisions to my advantage. So let's just see what kind of deck I build around him. The deck I've built around him is some of the most complete nonsense that I have played so far. I'm going to be playing like a Sienna, Vivian Oriole, and Vivian de Tabriz deck. So Vivian Oriole deploy is to boost herself by the provisions of the unit to the right. Now, I already did a meme cards video on her when she used to destroy artifacts, but now she has a different ability, obviously, here. And we have targets such as Avalak Sage and Sienna. Sienna obviously being able to proc her twice, which is quite crazy. And also the same goes for Vivian the Tabriz, which sets a unit's power to its provision cost. For example, in this case, Avalak the Sage, she will boost him by 10, which is actually the most with Regis, right? That's, that's the highest this ceiling this card can get. And Sienna obviously also has a 9-point ceiling with the Vivian to Breeze. Then I'm also running Kahir and Fion just to have some uh, Aristocrats since I am also playing Ball and Gorthor to have some targets for the Avalak Sage as well as Roderick which, you know, in the future patch will not be able to proc the Ball but as long as he can, we are going to obviously abuse the fact that he can. And we have Van Morlehem Hunters. Now, the problem with this obviously is the fact that we don't have that many Aristocrats in our deck for the Ball. We could maybe drop one of the Impera Brigades or the Hunting Pack for a Thirsty Dame. I will just have to figure that out. For the moment, I think this deck should be okay. I mean, it's a pretty jank deck. Like, this is not a good deck. Not competitive at all. But, you gotta try some stupid stuff with some stupid cards sometimes. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. So, yeah, let's just jump into some games. Alright, we're playing against the Blaze of Glory. Okay. I can see that. I can definitely see that. Alright, alright, alright. We have one lock. Don't think I need two sergeants, to be honest. We have the Vivian. Uh, we don't actually have good targets for Vivian. Kahir is just the throwaway card in this matchup, for sure. But he is an, he has a proc for my Aristocrat, so that could be useful. We have double poison here. We have one lock. Uh, it's either Magni Division or Sergeant that I get rid of. I guess Magni is actually better here. This could be... I'm actually going to drop Letho Kingslayer here. We get the ball, which is okay, I guess. Alright, we're just going to do this. Boost up the Magni Division. He might have Morkvarg. Some of these decks do sometimes play Morkvarg. Goes for the ship. Okay. 
see. We're gonna lock this ship, obviously. He might wanna, yeah, he probably has a raiding fleet here as well, it seems. I have a slight feeling of the raiding fleet coming down at some point. Okay, no raiding fleet, very good. Is he gonna keep a charge here? He's gonna pump down my armor. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'll just establish my master of disguise here. I shall release all Let's birds. see what that gets me. Getting two passive points now. And then we also have the dogs coming down, which is pretty good. Wish I could have drawn the Impera Brigade. Man, this thing is, is, is some real jank. I mean, I'm probably gonna lose against this. Oh, wait, wait, why did he not play this earlier? I guess he has a bunch of engines. He might have bricked his raiding fleet here though, which could be kind of good for us. He's playing very low tempo as well. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Alright, so he's down 10. If He might have Morkvark to be fair. This probably is a good poison target. Not entirely sure if it actually is. I mean, yeah, it's a 7. Like, we're not gonna get many good poison targets here anyway. And the problem will be... I mean, Vivian... Uh, no, Vivian actually kind of sucks in this one as well. A lot of his units are pretty low points. Is he gonna pass here? I don't... I'm not gonna... Okay, this guy kind of playing it a bit weird here. I mean, he probably has Morkvark if he's playing it like this, then. Not sure if he has him in hand, but I will keep playing here, honestly. I feel like that's okay. Okay, I might pass if he plays a card here. I am so many points up here. Does he have Lugos? Probably not, though. Okay, goes Raider, sure. I think I'm out here, honestly. I, I, I don't know. I mean, he has to have Morkvark here, right? Hjalmar? It's not enough, though. He has to go two cards down here, which I'm actually pretty happy with. Bear Witcher as well. So yeah, this Magni Division doing good for us, and... We have Last Say as well here, which is pretty useful. We have two Aristocrats in our hand as well. Morkvark might be able to deal with all of our stuff though, which could be a bit of a problem. We get Avalak, so I could mulligan the ball here. This is a good dry pass card. He will very likely just dry pass here anyway, so... Yeah. He does pass here, which is good, I guess. I do not have Devotion, so my Iced... Is there any way I can get, like, two... I mean, Kahir is so useful, useless here, but... You never know. If I get, like, a Roderick and a Sienna, I could po Oh, okay, I could possibly mulligan the Kahir in that situation. Okay, I definitely need to mulligan that, because I don't have... Okay... So, Roderick is 100% Fion. Don't think I actually want Kahir in this hand. I'd rather go for double Sienna. So, we go for this as the opening play. I have one, two, three aristocrats. I could possibly go Letho into something. Not sure if that's worth it though. I wish I could lock this. Wait, why is he... That's a bit weird. That is slightly weird. So, he probably wants to set up his Herald here, which is why he's doing this, I think. So he didn't draw Herald. I could go Vivian on this. Or I'm probably just gonna go Ball here, actually. Yeah, I think Ball is an option. Yeah, he has to. He wants. Yeah, he didn't draw Herald. This was quite obvious. Hmm. Oh, because he gets doomed. Yeah, okay, I get that. Alright, so. It's a bit of a problem here. Guess I'm just gonna go Avalak here into the Gorthor. And I will do... How many cards does he have? We have... I have less cards, wait. Okay, I, I do have less cards than him. So I'll just do this then. Get an engine on my side of the field here. He's got all this veil, huh? It's a bit annoying. I have to actually Vivian now because there's chances that his Herald... I could also Vivian... Ah, uh, no, but I wanna... I'm gonna combo this with Sienna. So I probably have to go... 
do this then. This is a bit bad, but I'll take it. It's a good point slam, though. Goes for the raider. I'll just lock this raider. And I'll also go for leader now. Do I? Yeah. Okay, great sword is... These are all really bad choices, I think. I don't know why I picked ice there, by the way. I just kind of... Like, okay, I lose, like, what? One point there? I have no other form of damage. Goes for... The Vabjorn. Okay, so now he has... Some good stuff here. Yeah, I have to do... I have to play Defender now. So, he still has one card that I'm not sure what it is yet. If it's more Quark, this is definitely a problem. If it's not more Quark, we could be in a good position still. So he has a great sword, iced. That's iced. Okay. Oh wow! So yeah, he discarded the great sword. He did. It did. He did also draw another card here. Is he gonna? Whoa! He's gonna kill that. So yeah, that's actually pretty good for me still. All right, then we we have Sienna, and we have to actually keep Sienna alive here, somehow for two turns. Goes raiding fleet. That's brick though. I know that's bricked, which is good. I'm gonna get my double Sienna. Oh yeah, this is good, guys. This is good. This is good. This is good, guys. Wait, how big is Iced? He's just 11. Goes for the Bear Witcher. Oh, guys, this is good. This is very good. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, to the right. To the right. Oh, look at this finisher. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, why did he not kill Defender? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, baby. 37. Look at Imagine having Iced when you can have a 37 point Vivian, dude. Just OP, man. OP, I tell you. All right. We are facing Enslay. Oh, God. That's really bad. <laughs> Enslay is like terrible. Is it five? Oh, it's six, so he's not even playing ball in that case. That's actually all right then. I can live with that, I think. Not sure how much I can live with that, but I can I can live with that. I don't have a lock, so I'll, I'll probably also kick this. I guess I'll kick this too. These are kind of useless. Uh, Van Morlen Hunter's pretty good here. It gives me a status. Ghost Fire Scorpion. I will just lock this. I could also poison it. I'll just lock it for the moment. If he has the hefty Helga, it's all right. We just poison the hefty Helga in that situation. Oh God, he has double. Oh, that's so good. All right, I'll just play my dogs. Good doggos. Got a good point lead at least. Those, oh God, that's actually quite scary. That is actually quite scary. He's up. He's down by eight. He's gonna get like two points for every card he plays here, pretty much. I could pass here, honestly. He's get, we got two scorpions, and he's not ahead of us. This is actually quite good for me. We also got the Vigo out. I'd say this is fine. Because now he just has removal tools, and we give him proactivity here. Okay, he goes for that. He's actually not ahead of us now as well. If he's, he might be clogged to be fair though. Ah, is he clogged? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. We got a long round. We had a long round last time as well. Problem with the long round this case, I guess, is more the fact that I kind of want to lock here, yeah. I have two locks in my deck, so I, I, could, I should still be able to draw them. Okay, we get the Avalak, which gives us the the good stuff. And I mean, the question is, is he gonna dry pass here? 
I think he is gonna drive past. Unless he's hyper thin, in that case, I don't think he would drive past. That's fine. I think I'll just play the sergeant here. He'd be very silly to not pass here. Okay, there you go. There's the pass. I get the thin my deck. We do have Sage though, so we do have access to Ball as well. Now, the only thing we still need is like the Vivian and the Sienna. The, some, the funny thing about Sienna is I can't actually... I have to actually draw her. I can't... Actually, no, I can get her off of Roderick. I just have to find my Vivian as well, right? Alright, so everything that is not an engine kind of can go. That's a lock. I like that. That's pretty good, actually. I have a nice amount of aristocrats. We are missing, you know, two of our main cards here still, though. What would I kick, though? If I draw a ball, that's actually pretty bad. All right, let's just play it out, I guess. So I would start with Avalok, right? Yeah, I think that's okay. Do I play this front? I think I play this back row. I think I'll do it like I did last game against Skellige. So I actually just want to get Oriole, right? Ah, but I don't have a good target for Oriole. I guess if I keep if I can keep Avalok alive, that's a good target. I wonder if Kahir actually does anything here. Goes for Roderick. Into the Fender. I'm guessing he's, he wants to play for, like, Stefan. So I have to purify this now, right? And just accept that my Fangs is a bit dead here. He does have pure... He play. He does play Diviners, though. I, I do know that much. Goes for the Hefty Helga. Now, I, I am more likely going to poison this. Because I want to keep a lock for something else here. I don't, I don't mind going poison on this right now. I probably should have played this here to play around the assassin, but I guess he always has backup damage with his hefty Helga. Goes bribery, okay. So I'm guessing he also has a Stefan. Okay, does he have two of these? No, whoa, that was a bad bribery then, holy moly. Kind of unlucky, I would say. Okay. We got our poisons off. And I'm guessing my... I'm, I'm probably going to play Vivian off of Roderick. That seems like an okay option. Nothing else to really play here, to be honest. Did he just enslave... He enslaved my thirsty dame. Okay, I can understand that. Goes for a poison as well now. Onto my Avalak. I am... He doesn't have Purify anymore. I mean, he could Purify. I should probably go for the Vivian now while I still can get the value. So I'll just do that. Seems okay. I guess I'll poison you. And it's to the right. I always have to check this, actually. This is actually quite important that I do. All right, so we get the 12 point Vivian. Hmm. So he also has Duchess and Formans here. I'm guessing he wants to roll one right now. Goes for Coop the Grass. I'm guessing for the Duchess. He could also go for Van Morlehem. I think that's. Is that more points? I'm actually not sure. Wait. Whoa, he purifies that? That's weird. Okay. So I go for Kahir now, right? Is there... Ah, he does play... He does play the... Coded weapons. So I probably have to... Want to go for this first. Maybe the row space here was a bit weird for me. I want to kind of double cross and try and find a Purify. There are odds that he has Purifies here. Experimental Remedy gives me a Purify. I could also go Vilgaforts. I know he has Vilgaforts, though. Is my Menno getting me anything? Is the Purify worth it here? Did I play a Poison earlier? No, I did not. So, he, I know he has Remedy. I think I actually have to go for Vilgaforts here. And kill... 
the Brathens or the Fat, the Thirsty Dame? I think Thirsty Dame is the one. Okay, we have Peter. Okay, that's nice. Now I can obviously Volgaforts my dude here. Oh, if he Volgaforts us into Sienna, that's actually kind of insane. <laughs> okay, no, he does not Volgaforts into Sienna. I will probably just lock something here. And the cat here is not looking too great right now, honestly. Oh god. He had treason. I couldn't play around. I mean, I could play around that, honestly, but... Not sure if I actually could. Alright, let's see if he has an answer for this. I know he has Remedy. Remedy gives him a lock, I guess, which is good. Oh, I can also hit it with... Okay, he wants to hit this, actually. He doesn't want to hit the cat here. Alright. Interesting. Alright, double cat here. Let's go. The treason was pretty good here. So I didn't play around that. I mean, actually, you should always play around that with six and slave. Oh, he had that as well. That's a bit unlucky. So his last card is remedy. Alright, let's see what this me mentor gives us. Oh no. Oh no. So yeah, I mean remedy was gonna be enough here no matter what. Yeah, treason treason actually I think wins him the game here. It was it like an eleven point treason? Yeah, that was pretty good, but I did I think I did misplay this one. I could have I could have played that a bit different. I didn't really know his deck too well though, so I did, it's hard to like play around things if you don't know the deck. And I didn't draw my Sienna, which could have been, you know, a bit useful. But I think it would have killed Sienna no matter what, so... It's not the most favorite matchup, for sure. Alright, we are facing Ursine Ritual. Okay. You have okay, 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 okay. I see, I see, I see. No, okay, this is bad. <laughs> this this red coin thing is pretty bad here. Well, we'll have to find out. We'll, we'll see if it's gonna be good or not. I think I... I don't need this, I think. Okay, this is a bit too many engines. Alright, these were kind of forced mulligans, but I'll take it. Do I boost this? I don't think I actually do. I think I'll, I'd rather boost the sergeant here. Yeah. I'm gonna just go ahead and TA this. If he has Curse of Corruption, it's a bit clowny, but nothing I can really do against it. Okay, interesting. The Raider. I think I'll just play Brigade for the moment. This will not leave the field, I'd, I'd say, so I'll just wait here a little bit. Oh, he's Pirates! Oh, good. Interesting deck. Pirate Lippy, I would assume. Which means he has a lot of engines that coming in at some point. He does pass. Okay, that's quite an early pass. I mean, I did thin my deck quite. I mean, this was a really good round for me. This was so good. We got both of these out. Thinned my deck by two. Now, we get the ball. I have to mulligan one of the scenario. I mean, the artifacts for Avalak here, which does feel kind of awkward, but I think we can deal with it. Fangs actually isn't bad. Double Fangs here actually is quite good for the bleed. So if I were to mulligan something, what would I mulligan? I actually don't think I mulligan anything here. Okay. Hope he doesn't have a second gunning slash, I guess. Sheesh. Alright, that's not good. This is where Vivian would be really nice. Do I Hyrule Gorthor? There's so many golds in my deck, to be fair. I guess I play this now. This deck wants a long round, I assume. Crack and crate. I lock you, right? Yeah, I, I just lock this guy. He has... Uh, it's actually pretty good. Do I just letho the... I think I poison the crack. I think I actually should have letho the Master of Disguise. I'll do it now, I guess. Oh, okay, I lose a bit of points there. I guess I'll just leave my engine going and just trade. Or try to trade at least. And hopefully hit something good with Avalak and then go Vivian. Okay, we get Ceres out. 
That's pretty good. Problem is still that we are kind of in a bad position here. Okay, we get an 11 at least here. We get some good power plays here. Goes turd V. It's pretty good. I think I actually have to go pretty hard here. Oh, Neuromancy's good. He has Morkvark, okay. His hand's pretty bad here, actually. Oh, I go Vivian all day, every day here, right? Or do I? I think I go... Oh, actually, no, I go from the Cupbearer, right? Cupbearer is the best card here to play. Alright, that's good. Goes... Monero for the Morkvarg. Is this enough? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, that feels kind of bad. Trading the leader for the Morkvarg here. Um, what were his last cards again? It was Raider and something else. Yeah, we just got dealt with, with the pirates. Maybe our ball could be enough here, but I'm not sure entirely if it actually is going to be. Probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, round two was a bit awkward here. Okay, we get Fion, we get Sienna. Sienna doesn't do much here though. Yeah, she doesn't actually do anything here. Okay, that's a pretty good hand actually. <laughs> that is actually a pretty good hand. Goes Lippy. Well, he doesn't have access to Ceres anymore, does he? Oh, his Morkvark was the last card in the end, right? Yeah, so he still has Holger. I don't think he has any boost left. But we'll see. Alright, what did he play? Pirate. Okay. I'm gonna masquerade ball now. He doesn't have access to his. Alright, I'll just play Kahir. That's pretty smart. I guess that makes sense. I mean, realistically, does it? But not. Whatever. Alright. I will go. I mean, Vivian boosts us up by four. Uh, yeah, I think Vivian is the best play here. Is there anything I can downgrade? Just deals three to this. It deals. It, it actually would have killed this. I probably should have waited for the. Po I mean, I couldn't really wait for the poison. I guess I'll just go Vivian. Yes. Just kill this bear. Yeah, he needs two points. I, I think he's got this. Maybe we would have been okay in the long round now that I think about it. Yeah, this this could have been we could have won this in the long round, I think. Like he doesn't have too much control, honestly. Alright, we are facing symbiosis. Oh, Kair is good here. If he has a lot of movement, he's not that great, but if he doesn't have that, we should be in a pretty interesting position. Okay, I want to mulligan my bricks here, and I guess I also get rid of the Magni divisions. Going first here is actually quite good. Yeah, Kahir, I mean, Kahir is such a random card in this deck, but he kind of... This is a super jank deck. I, I think I've mentioned this already, but... Like, super, super jank. Okay, um... Do I just lock this? Because locking like Hamadryad makes no sense. The the Magni baits out movement as well, so Magni's actually pretty good with Kahir. Now that I think about it, those for the Hamadryad. Understandably so. Two Hamadryads? Are you serious? Whoa! Two leader charges as well. That's quite expensive, I would say. Rebuke. On that? Okay. Okay, okay. I can see it. Shaping nature. What? Okay, I mean... I will bait the fact that I have poison here pretty hard, right? I should always do that. Play the poison now. Okay, that's a good caress then. 
So now I actually think I have to pass here. This is a bit silly, but he's played that weird as hell. But I guess I, guess I got both hammer dryers out. So I think I have to pass here, which feels a bit awkward. But I don't think I have a choice. I'm, I'm down by like 24. 25. Actually, no, I was like down by like 26 points. Which I don't think even the hunting pack can keep up with, so... Bad dogs, I guess. We get a caress out of him. I hope I don't draw a dog. I might actually have to mulligan the dog. Okay, we get the masquerade ball, which is A-OK, -okay, I would say. He's always gonna bleed, right? Okay, that's kind of weird. Against ball? Really? You're not gonna bleed? It's a bit weird. I mean, he has Defender in that case, right? So I would like a Cup Bear here. Maybe I have to mulligan the Fangs. Maybe I only need one Poison. Okay. Oh no, this is really bad. Oh, I missed like so much just now. Wow. Wow, look at all these golds in my deck. That's actually really bad. I think I have to play this a bit different now. Nah, oh, man, I actually have to change the lines here quite hard. I get Gorther off of Avalak. Then I have, like, Letho. I don't have Letho. I think I have to go Letho and just say screw Sienna. Realistically. Okay, so he has Defender. Uh, I do not have an answer for that. I mean, I could go for a Purify, but there's quite weird odds here. I might actually just go for Masquerade Ball now. Yeah, Pathco is a problem. If I lead her, how high are the odds of me hitting like a Poly? They're actually not terrible. Kind of want to use leader now. Yeah, that's pretty good. I I think I I have to poison Polly here, right? I just do the follow up poison. Actually, no, I poisoned this next, right? This is better. What do I Vivian? I could Vivian like a. Oh no, he's gonna. Okay, that's a bit annoying. <laughs> that's actually pretty good for him. Um, he can deal with my Kahir with his Pathco. I think I just go Fion now. I know he has a circle of life. I'll just give this a bunch of armor then. Oh wow. Okay. Well, that's fine actually. That's not like the worst. I'm actually okay with this. As long as I can like have cat here value then. If it means that, I'll go for it. Sadly, I can't obviously poison this Pathco anymore. He played that well, though. He did play that quite well just now. But I think now with Kahir, we should be in a very interesting spot for sure. Because I'm going to play Avalok next. So I have a higher chance of hitting the Letho. Is he going to double move? He might double move here, yeah. He is probably going to double move here. I have any way of playing around that. I could boost up the Kahir now with my Vivian. I mean, his Gezras isn't getting value anyway because he kind of like clogged his row now. I know he... Oh, wait, he already played Polly though. So I think I have to Vivian this now. Need my help. This is a good Vivian, I'd say. He already played Polly. That's his last movement. Goes down to seven. So he rebukes. Okay. I know he still has. 
I have to actually high roll here, don't I? I have to either hit Hiletho or Siano. Yeah. Don't really have a choice here. Okay, I found Hiletho. That's good. I could also have played Defender here, but I mean... I don't think he has a way of dealing with both cat. Actually, he has a way. Oh god, what have I done? No, I'm so stupid. Oh crap. No, no, no. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, at least it okay. At least he can't kill the. Oh wait, yeah. I actually, I actually, okay. At least, at least one of the cat here survives here. Okay, I've kind of forgot about everything here. Boom. Alright. Oh, he found- he has Ithne in his deck still. It's a bit sad. I mean, he has a- You can kill the cat here now at this point, right? Which is a bit of a problem. His last card is Gord, isn't it? Is this enough? I don't know. I'll, I'll put back a circle of life, I guess. I could've put back a- I mean, I couldn't actually. He pl I think he played two, right? Is Gord enough here? Yeah, just about. If we had Cat here, we win. If we keep the Cat here alive. He had two movements. I guess he... Eh. Yeah, he played that as good as he could. Double movement here is quite problematic for us. Alright, we're playing double cross. Alright, I'm, I'm guessing this is not the same deck that we are playing. And... Uh, Magic Lamp, okay. I don't have a soldier on, on this... In his hand. I guess I kicked this first. Okay, now I have to kick the soldier. That feels kind of weird. Kahir. Deck does play invo, right? And Joaquim boosts beforehand, so it's actually kind of. Kahir against Joaquim. Oh, it's Clog, okay. We are facing. Oh god, actually. Do I just discard nonsense? Or I could also just play Fion here. If I think. I think if I play Fion, I'm actually off. All right. Not having renew, I guess, is a bit awkward, but I think that's fine still. Because if he invos this, okay, he's putting back bad cards in my deck. I can see why. Hmm. hmm. Okay. It's very low value on that. Now we know it plays Madoc. Which is not good. It passes. Fascinating. This does it exactly by a two. It's pretty good. Alright. I mean, Kahir on his Kogrim is just kind of cheating, but the fact is... He might have a way to deal with it. He might actually have a way to deal with it, which isn't great. He hasn't clogged me too hard, though. I, I, will, I did draw both of the cards that he clogged me with, so that's not the greatest. I don't know, man. He didn't clog me, like, that hard. But, like, even if he clogs me, my cat here is, is really good here. Hmm. I guess I just do this. I guess I just kind of, like, play it out here, see what it does. Okay, Dime Bomb. So now he goes for the low tempo Madoc. Which I'm fine with. I could also use this to reset his thingy. Okay. Gives me a lock. So I kinda wanna go leader for defender. If I can leader for defender, I might actually win the game. Do I just high roll the Gorthor? I could just high roll this, right? Yeah. Let's just go for the good old high roll. Give him like a bad lock card, I guess. What do I get? Oh, okay, I'll take a mentor. That's fine. I, sh I probably shouldn't have done it like this. <laughs> Should have probably played it on the other row. Okay, gives me another mentor. Oh, that's oh no, that's not good. Okay, wait. Um, okay, I think I think my idea here, the idea right now that I want to do is, this is a bit. This this seems a bit stupid because I did misplay this last turn. 
quite hard. Actually, no, I didn't. It didn't matter if he gets the damage there, does he? Does it? Actually makes no difference. I do draw into really good cards here, though. I know that much. Do I even still need the Mentor? Uh, I guess I... I guess there's no real... I mean, there is two better options, but my deck is so clogged, it doesn't really make a difference. I guess I, I'm lacking a bit of Aristocrats. Oh. Alright, this is bricked. Nice. <laughs> this is this is very bricked. So what I'm trying to do here is try and get his defender with my leader ability. If he has defender, that is. Goes ADC for a lock. Okay. So there are some odds here. I think I will just go Masquerade Ball for the moment. Don't ask a lady her age. It's unbecoming. He is going to play a Bomb here, I think. Or a Heat Wave. He's just going to play a Bomb, okay. So six cards. Out of those six cards, one is Defender. Hmm. <laughs> well, I could play the Bricked Avalak. I mean, I, I, don't, I think I have to play the Bricked Avalak here. Do I go Defender now, though? I don't think I do. I think I wait one more turn because I think he wants to get some bomb value or do that. Your life is worth Gives me another Avalak. Thanks. Take comfort in it. So. I have to play Vivian now, obviously, because otherwise I'm not getting the value. All right. And now I have a pretty good chance of hitting Defender here. Oh, crap. I missed Defender. Oh no, I... Uh, this sucks. Alright, I guess I'll just go Colgrim then. Lady Fortune, cruel mistress. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a mess, but I think... So, is he gonna have Defender here? I saw he has Gorthor and... a Mentor. Those are three cards. So he has to play like Defender now. Or he has more damage. Goes for Kahir. That's fine. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a weird game, I think. I I Did hit my Kahir. Does he have an answer for Kahir? Is is what I'm actually wondering. Because he already played his Letho. I have I have a Letho backup for his Colgrim. I know I I so I, I'm I'm missing two cards from his hand that I don't know what they are. Vigo is one of them, okay. Does deal with my Colgrim. I will just play my cat here in this case. Oh, this gives me a second poison. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I forgot this guy was an aristocrat. It's pretty funny. So he does deal with my cat with my Colgrim, but cat here obviously <laughs> is a bit more of a counter to Colgrim. Goes for defender. So we know his last two cards here don't aren't able to deal with cat here. So I think we just win, right? Yeah. That is pretty good for me then. Alright, play your mentor for like negative 12 or something. Ah, oh, this is good, guys. This is what you want to see. <laughs> this is what you... You want to see the bricked Avalak? Oh, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, it sets. I forgot it sets. Oh, that's actually kind of unlucky. That is actually pretty problematic, but I mean even then like the Colgrim is still like super negative points for him Like the Goga Colgrim just literally plays for negative points here for him. Yeah, like it's negative points Boop. <laughs> Give me give me that value, baby. Oh, yeah get hyper. Oh Look at the big oh the two big cat here's it's pretty funny though 25 point Vivian is also not something to scuff about Alright, uh, play the negative points. Yes, give me... I mean, this sets, to be fair, but... Oh, look at the Colgrim now. Oh, look at the Colgrim, guys! Oh, negative 10. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's what we've come to see here. That's what we've come to see here. Alright, so, you know, I could talk about Avalak, but at the end of the day, Avalak's just, like, a bad version of Oneromancy, or, like, you know, a bad version of Roderick in this case. I just wanted to talk about this whole, like, idea of the, you know, the Crimson Curse, the, 
uh, blood and wine expansion cards such as Vivian, Vi- uh, Vivian's, the Vivians and the Sienna. Uh, they're pretty funny to use, but there's just something missing for them. I love, I love the fact that I can go Vivian Oriel and Sienna. That's always a funny combo. That's actually a really crazy combo if you think about it. If it works, it's like so many points. But yeah, I think that the only way you can actually play Avalak Sage is with this sort of package where you kind of benefit off of his provisions. Another option would also be Cosimo. Cosimo is definitely also something I was considering, but then I just thought, okay, I need more aristocrats for my Masquerade Ball, so I just play for Kahir. I guess I could have gotten more cheese with like Assimilate and stuff, but I think this is probably like the most competitive version of this deck. If I'm honest, uh, I guess you can play Sienna and Oriole in like Northern Realms as well, since they're two neutral cards with like Avalak the Sage into like a Siege, which is also an option. But I feel like, you know, I want to play the best scenario for my Avalak. So that's what I went and did. And yeah, this is a pretty stupid deck. It's very janky, but, you know, I wanted to try something, you know, a little different from the usual. Nilfgaard Masquerade Ball lists, and I did, and it, it's not good, obviously, it's actually pretty bad, but it does counter some funny matchups, and if your opponent doesn't really know what you're playing, it's also kind of funny when you just, like, kind of drop a Sienna out of nowhere and play, like, a 30-something point Oriel, which we did against Skelligus, so I'm actually quite happy with that, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this still worked out, even though we lost quite a few games, but... That's just what it is when you play these kind of decks, obviously. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more great content, and I'll see you soon.